$47 they are. Gotta be out of their minds. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. It's a little late, but I wanted to sit down and record because I got my Ipsy box. I'm thinking that this is, <laughs> you know I can never figure it out, but uh, I think it's the ultimate. But first I have to tell you, the world has gone absolutely mad. This virus is causing the most chaos. It's, it's really like a movie and it's uh, really crazy. But you know what? Let this be an, a place where you can come, forget about everything else that is going on in the outside world. Let's have some fun. Let's play with makeup. And this is going to be a, st <laughs> a fun, <laughs> funny, stress-free zone. What do you think about that? Let's just get into this. As I said, I'm pretty sure that this is my ultimate box. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello, hi, how are you? I get all three Ipsy bags, boxes, things, whatever you want to call them. The first one is a $12 bag where you're getting five sample size things, <laughs> words. The plus is a box where you get five full size items for 25 bucks and a cute little bag that's a little bit larger than the other. And this ultimate is eight full-size products, four deluxe size samples, and a bag. And it has been so good lately. <laughs> yep, this looks like it is the ultimate because of the size of the bag. Last month's bags were rather confusing because the medium-sized bag was the same as size as the small bag and did not match the aesthetic at all. This one's super pretty. Again, this looks like a clutch that I would use to run out because it's got a little handle. They always have the Ipsy on here. And this one is studded and it is textured and raised. I like the bluish greenish teal and the yellow color. And look at that neon yellow inside. It's adorable. And this actually has a pocket as well. First thing I'm pulling out is a 111 Skin Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. Now, supposedly, and I do say supposedly, these masks are absurdly expensive. I do think that they're highly overpriced, but luckily I didn't pay the full price for them. I mean, when I look at the ingredients in this mask, there's nothing that I can see, well, from what I can see anyway, that gives it the price tag that it supposedly has. So I don't know, but nonetheless, I love sheet masks. And this one is a, it's a brightening treatment mask. So pretty cool. Oh, here is the little booklet, by the way. I like these because they didn't give me one last time. <clears throat> Did you even see that video yet? I think I put that video up. I'm so behind, I, I don't know. But nonetheless, they're going to tell you what products you got in here. And this is how I determine if I did any add-ons, because if it's not in here, then it's an add-on. And this year for March 2020, it is Celebrate You. So this says, open up your 13 Glam Bag Ultimate Picks. Now, we used to get 12. Now they're giving us, th oh, that's right. We were supposed to be getting a free product this month. I forgot about that. Because this is the 100th Glam Bag. Well, obviously, they've only had this one for less than a year but i guess they've done a hundred bags you know what i mean okay the first thing i'm pulling out here is a palette no it's actually the second thing i'm pulling out now we've gotten shella products before we've gotten an eye no an eyebrow thing which it was good in concept but a it dried out very quickly and the brush and the mechanism you had to stick it into the little pot that was in the cap the product was difficult to get out. As I said, good in concept, not so awesome in execution. But this is kind of cute. You want to know something? This reminds me of a handheld video game I had in like 1980. It was a Donkey Kong game. I think it was by, was it Nintendo? I don't remember. But this brought back some major <laughs> flashbacks to that. This is actually curved. It it has a pop open, two mattes, and two really beautiful shimmers. The Cella, La oh, it comes with the brush too. Oh, it comes with actually a brush brush. All right, that's cute. I'm gonna put that here for a minute. I'm doing it differently this time, guys. I don't know why. I'm mixing it up. So it says that, the $45. $45? Oh, you know what's interesting? It's magnetic. You can pop these out, put them in a Z palette, or I bet they sell other shadows, one would think, and they do pop back in. I do like that concept a lot. I don't know if it's worth $45. 
an eyeshadow palette you want to wear every single day. All four matte and shimmery shades are highly buildable, blendable, and deliver serious color payoff. Plus, the matte shades are water, re water resistant, so you can create endless eye looks that last for hours. The shadows feel beautiful. Here's what they look at. I think they swatch pretty well. This shade obviously is very close to my skin tone, so you can't see it very well, but the shimmers are stunning. And I have to say this um, matte brown swatched quite nicely. That looks like a very nice palette. I don't care what they say it's worth. So I didn't pay the $45 for it, so. 111 Skin, <laughs> 111 skin Rose Gold Mask. <laughs> oh, okay, they're giving you another one. Let me look. It says the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Sheet Mask and Celestial Black Diamond Eye Mask. They're saying that these two items are valued, get this, at $47. Why would I, why would... Why would anyone spend $47 on a one-time use item unless you have money to like put in a pile and set fire to? Why would anybody do that? Obviously, I didn't, and I'm quite glad I didn't, but do you see the absurdity of that price marking for this? I can't imagine, fi I'm, I'm sorry I'm stuck on it, I can't imagine like $50 in a one-time use. I spend $50 on serums that last me three months, if you know where I'm going with that. $47 they are. Gotta be out of their minds. This is the CEO Sunday Riley Serum. I've used this in the past, and although there are other very good C serums, I do happen to like this one very much. Now, this is a pricey item, and I've personally paid, you see, but this is worth $42.50, $42.50 for something that's going to last you quite a long time. $47 for something you're going to put on your face once. And I always wear this with SPF on top of it because essentially sunlight is going to degrade the vitamin C. So it's kind of like you, it would be useless if you're not putting sun protection on on top of it. Or you can choose it to use it at night if you forget your SPF. So far, not bad at all. This box is beautiful. This is just this is just a hand cream. It's a very fancy box for just a, a hand cream. Here is the package. It is one of those metal squeezy tube thingies. Library of Flowers, American Small Batch Perfumery, and this says Honeycomb. Okay, we're starting off the same as last time, which you haven't seen that video yet, so you don't know. But it's a ton of skincare. Dry hands happen. <laughs> They even put in the UGG. Gotta love these writers. It says it has super moisturizers like shea butter, cocoa butter, plant oils. And it's valued at $20. I prefer not to pay $20 for hand cream. Some people do, and that's fine. Oh, it does have one of those metal seals. Now, normally there's a way to open it. How do you open it? Normally, like, there's a point or something. How in goodness name am I supposed to open this? Okay, you gotta admit, that's kind of dumb. It has a bit of a florally smell, but it's not rose. <laughs> you know, I guess I should have figured that out when it said, oh, library of flowers. Hmm, what gave that away, Leanne? That's all right, I'll give it to somebody at work who likes it. But the box is pretty, but again, we seem to be getting very skincare heavy. Feels really nice, though. But now I smell very florally, and I don't like it. Ew, okay. Not ew, but oh, ooh. One of those <laughs> expressions. This is from Thrive Cosmetics. This is the Vegan Collagen Complex Lip Mate. Uh, let's read what this is. Lip Mate High Shine Reviving Topper in Ashley. Crystal Shimmer, so it's a clear. Give your lips the hydrating TLC they deserve with this glossy lip serum. One coat moisturizes, plumps, adds serious shine, but no stickiness, and improves the overall lip texture. It's all thanks to a combo of potent collagen-boosting peptides. Okay, peptides can... Okay, peptides can... How many times are I going to say that, Leanne? <laughs> I'm on repeat. Peptides. 
can boost your collagen production. So that's where they're going with that. All right, you know I'm gonna try it, right? I do love this packaging, and this has some very pretty gold speckles in it. And it's nice, I mean, it's standard packaging, but I like it. It's just a clear gloss, I mean, but if it has some nice moisturizing properties, I will see myself using it quite a bit. What's the price of this again? Okay, have you ever had a moment where you just want to go back in slow motion and say, no, my memory card got full and I switched memory cards and I went to skip over the video clip of a previous video, video that I haven't gotten up yet and I hit delete. I said this is going to be happy place. I'm going to be zen and let it go. But for those of you who are creators, I think you understand the absolute after you hit that delete button and your heart sinks. But anyway, before I got cut off, I was talking about the fact that this is $24. $24 for a clear lipstick, lip gloss with a little bit of shimmer is a lot. I know it may have some beneficial ingredients in it, but um, I just think they're a little bit high, but I didn't pay that much, so um, yay me. The Pixie Glow Mist, and this is $15, which I have paid before. I bought it many, many times. I said I still continue to use it, but it's not like the miracle that I thought it was. In other words, the more learning I do, the more deep diving into some really intricate ingredients, the more I find I said it's not bad. It's just not the miracle, I think, that everybody touts it to be. So, But I'm happy to have it because I finished two other ones and I'm working on another, and uh, now I have yet another. And the next thing here, so I don't know if I like doing it this way, actually looking at it first. I kind of like discovering it on my own and then finding out what it is. I'm just trying to be different. This is from Elamasqua. We receive a lot of products lately from Elamasqua. A lot of them are really, really good. Comes in a nice box, which I do appreciate getting the box. And what a cute little packaging. It's very, um, I think it's almost high-end kind of feeling, if you know what I mean. And this is the Elamasqua Hydrovale Primer for $45. Yeah, they are an expensive brand. Yes. If clear... <laughs> Wait till you hear this. Ready? If clear slime and makeup primer had a baby, it would look a little something like Hydrovale. Okay. The futuristic clear gel formula is oddly satisfying and super effective thanks to the combo of microalgae, vitamin C, and B3. I've never had vitamin C in a primer before. That's interesting. I gotta, I gotta check this out because um, slime and primer is not, um, not a thing. But look at this. How freaking adorable is this? If I could do this without breaking it. Oh, okay. I thought it was a little... Is it? No? Maybe? Huh? Okay, you just pull this up. Okay. It is jiggly. It kind of melts into the skin. But I have this feeling that this is going to break off very quickly. Because look at how, I mean, you open, you pull this too hard, it's going to break right off. So I still want to know what this is. It looks like it's a spoon that you can take off. But apparently it's not. I'll have to read it. It becomes a very tacky service. Service? <laughs> Help me. Surface. Surface. I'm hoping it doesn't have denatured alcohol. There are very few ingredients before the phenoxyethanol. So I don't think the vitamin properties that they're claiming this has are really doing much for your skin, if anything. Okay, now I don't know what I chose, because I really am looking at everything, I'm like, nothing pops out to me that I actually chose it, but I did get another complex culture, not couture, brush. Pepsi's brand, essentially, they make these. 
but they did an excellent job at making them because these are beautiful brushes. As I said, these are nicely weighted. They're a little top heavy, but they're nice. Which one is this? It's an ankle foundation. Now, I'm not, I have so many foundation br brushes, but this one looks too cute. Except, let's see if you can see, look at the hairs. See them right here? It needs a haircut. That always bothers me because even my less expensive brushes don't need haircuts. And it's not like you can pull them out. Like, you know, they're very, very soft, su super soft kitten-like brushes. This is a triangle brush. I don't have anything like it. And the name is actually engraved into the ferrule. Beautiful touches, but I don't know. And this brush is... Yeah, thirty-five dollars. No, I didn't pay thirty-five dollars, so you know. Actually, giving you a tip: it says hold the brush with the logo facing away from you if you're left-handed, and blend your foundation downward. It will intuitively fit in all the curves of your face. Now we're getting into the deluxe samples. This is a cute little guy, and it is from Derma Deli. <laughs> That's cute, and is a nourishing eye serum. Well, caffeine to minimize puffiness and dark circles, plus hyaluronic acid and collagen to reduce the look of crow's feet. The Face Hero is another deluxe sample. The Good For You cocktail of natural ingredients comes to the rescue, hydrating parched skin, helping to brighten dull complexions and soothing inflammation. It also helps combat fine lines, dark spots, early ages, early, <laughs> early signs of aging. I can't see a blessed thing. This I've received like a gazillion times before. It's another one of the hemp's Body, moist, bo body moisturizer and sweet pineapple. I do love this, but like I just, as a matter of fact, I have one over here and I have one over there because I just, I think I got this last month too. We're just getting a lot of them. Oh, by the way, they're giving us the full size prices. So the full size of it, which is, um, I believe it says 17 ounces, is $23. But I always get them on sale, like buy one, get one half off in Ulta all the time. The face here, the full size of it, which is only point is only 30 mils, is $34. And this little guy, which is the German Deli Nourishing Eye Serum, is $35 also. Well, that one's $34. Next up, we have the Hey Honey. We just received some Hey Honey, again, I think last month. It is a Show Your Glow Colloidal Gold and Honey Beauty Mask. Anti-inflammatory and anti-aging colloidal gold. I've heard Use a small amount of this mask with your daily face or body moisturizer to give your skin a natural looking shimmer effect. I don't usually leave my masks on like under my makeup. That's, that's, that's just me. But the full size of it, I believe it's, I think that says $64, shnikes. Another Manica Dar product. I did not like their liquid lipstick at all. It was so sticky, my lips stuck together for days. But this is a nice size for a deluxe sample. This is a very nice size blush. I haven't tried their blushes before. That is in a beautiful color. Let's swatch her. Beautiful texture. It's very pigmented. It's got just a little bit of sheen to it, I think. That looks really pretty. The size of it is $19. That was everything that came in my box, and it looks like I bought some add-ons, which I did. I actually bought these, and I think we got one of these for a dollar. You were able to add an extra product for a dollar, and I didn't realize that it was just one, and you can order them for each of your accounts, and I ordered three items, the three things that I wanted, and if I had split them up over my three boxes, I would have paid a dollar for each of them. I'm an idiot. I didn't realize that. When your life is as hectic as mine is, you forget a lot of things. Occasionally, my own name. But I bought the water cream and the dewy skin cream. These are not worth their price tag because they're, they're nice, but they're definitely overpriced as far as I'm concerned. I wanted to try the Complex Culture eye brushes because we haven't gotten any of those. This is just a flat shadow brush she needs a little bit of a haircut too this on a very expensive brush these hairs would not be so uneven this would be very nicely defined so that when you are using it 
to try to get into your crease and then put the color on, it would be extremely precise. You know, like Wayne Goss brushes, the, the hairs are so precisely made. Um, so I think they're attempting to do some things right, but they need to refine just a few things. They're not bad, but I'm picky, and I notice the fine details in a brush that claims to be what these brushes are. Overall, I'm very happy with everything. The total value is, let's see, it says it's valued at 273. Do I think it's valued at 273? No, because I think the items are very overinflated. But again, that's not bothering me. So if I add up, if you break it down, the $50, divide just the $50 over the eight products, full-size products you're getting, they're still about $5, slightly more than $5 a product, but maybe slightly less because you're also getting the deluxe size samples. So I don't care about the value that they're stating it is. I have the hand cream. I have the Illamasqua Primer Complex Culture Brush. And the Too Faced Masks. The Thrive Cosmetics, uh, the Pixie Glow Tonic, the CEO from Sunday Riley, which this is almost as much as the entire box. Shella Eyeshadow Palette, which I really can't wait to try on my eyeballs. Dermadeli Serum, the Manicadar Blush, the Hey Honey Glow Mask, and the Face Hero, and the Hemp's Moisturizer. So think about it, my friends. Less than $5 a piece couldn't get that for that. So this is how I am thinking about everything. And that makes it worth to me. I wish there had been a little bit more makeup, but there's really nothing that I'm not liking thus far. So here's the whole thing. I want to know your thoughts because your thoughts are, of course, the ones that are important to me, my friends. You know that I love you tremendously. I am so grateful that you, you keep coming back. You support me. I feel the love. I feel the friendship. And I am eternally grateful for all of you. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of this family. But, you know, and if you don't and you don't feel comfortable doing that, that's okay. If you want to give my video a thumbs down, that's okay. If you want to give it a thumbs up, that's okay. I value the fact that you're here anyway. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. Come back for some more fun soon. I have a few more to film. And uh, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Much love, everybody. Bye.